Hey guys, Saga here, and today's video is going to be about playing 3v3 competitively. Uh, we're going to go over who I think to be the holy trinity for 3v3 solo queue, and why these characters are by far your best and most consistent picks. Today's video is only going to cover one, but I'm going to go over some of the ways you can use him, some of the paths on the map that you can exploit, uh, and then over the next two videos we're going to go over who I think to be the other two. Also, if you guys have guesses to who the other two are going to be, then go ahead and leave those in the comments. Alright, the first pick that is practically a must pick in most situations is Roadhog. He is just too powerful of a hero, he's got too versatile of a kit, he can fight close, he can fight from a distance, and he's effective at just about all ranges. Now, of course, he's only effective long range like once every seven seconds, but in most poking situations, in the beginning of a fight when you're trying to get that early pick, that's more than good enough. Roadhog is such a powerful force in 3v3 because he has three things going for him. First, he's got a large health pool, which makes him very difficult to kill. He's very hard to get all the way down, and then he's able to go back and self-sustain himself back up. Second, he is very capable of getting early picks, and oftentimes the first person to lose one person on their team is not only obviously at a terrible disadvantage, but often is the team that just wins the game. And third, when shit hits the fan, and it will, and you'll be left alone versus two other people, or sometimes even three other people, you actually have a chance to win that. And that really matters, the ability to come back and win games that you shouldn't. Depending on what the enemy team chose, oftentimes I will be down 2v1, and I will feel comfortable being Roadhog versus those 2v1. If I play my cards right, if I don't let myself get surrounded, and get overtaken, then I can win that. If they're playing poke with me, I can win that situation, and I feel confident about my ability to do so. A fourth thing worth mentioning uh, is that he also builds alt really fast. Every time that you bite that, um, I don't know, what is it, a sandwich, a healing grenade snack thing? You know what it is. Every time he bites it, you gain significant alt charge. So every time that you're taking damage and you're having like a long sustained game, you're getting a ton of alt that you can use for later. All right, enough of me talking. Let's go into some of the examples. When dealing with an aerial foe, you want to stick to the second floor so that you are closer to get a good hook off at any time. You don't want them to be able to outrange you. Now, 3v3 is just like any other game mode in that the high ground matters and fighting for it is important. However, as Roadhog, I'd say about 10% of the time you give up your position to just take out somebody early. Uh, sometimes it's a gamble, sometimes if you have to do it far behind enemy lines, you want to really consider before you go for it. But other times, jump down to the bottom level and pick somebody off. Every single time you eat his Roadhog, you want to turn around and look down from your enemy. The reason for this is that it hides your head hitbox and keeps them from doing significant damage. It helps mitigate your incoming damage while you're eating. You can jump off this catwalk in order to get a quick pick out of this room. However, if the whole team is in there, I would be wary because if you wind up pulling out their Roadhog and their Roadhog doesn't have any other kind of damage on him, you're gonna probably die because he who hooks first is at disadvantage, unless there's other damage on him. If you find yourself in a 3v1 scenario, you wanna run away. There's a bunch of reasons for this, but the big reason is that everybody runs at different speeds, has different movement abilities, and will catch up with you at different times. So when you're running away from 3v1, you're probably gonna get into a situation with, by the time the first person catches up to you, you can get a very quick 1v1. And as Roadhog, you can end that 1v1. Obviously not every 3v1 situation is winnable, but oftentimes you can find a win where other people would have just given up if you look for your edge. Alright guys, if you like my content and you want to see parts 2 and 3, please subscribe. Also, if you guys haven't gotten the chance to see yet my What Overwatch Characters Names Mean in Mandarin video, that's right here. And if you'd like to see my latest guide, that's out right here.